and today we are going to take a look at an 8k HDMI switcher from Ore and if your TV only has one or two HDMI inputs and you want to connect your multimedia mini computer, your Android TV box, your Apple TV, Xbox or any other console, your laptop and you only have one or two inputs on your TV then this might be the solution. Now one thing to have in mind which is very important, not all switches are the same and some of them will not transmit the same audio and video signals that our devices transmit which is not the case of the Ore. This one is capable of transmitting up to 8K at 60 Hz or 4K at 120 with all the signals that these devices are capable of emitting, but we will talk about that in just a few moments. So let's take a better look at it. Inside the package we will find the Ore switcher, a power adapter and also a infrared remote control and some paperwork like the user guide. Connectivity wise it's very simple, we will have 4 HDMI inputs at the back, 1 power input and there is also a output which is the cable that will go to our TV or to our monitor. And basically the connectivity is as simple as this, we will connect directly the HDMI output of every single device that we want to use to one of these inputs at the back and then there will be only one cable connecting to our TV. In this example I did connect one mini computer with Windows 11 to the HDMI input 1, the NVD Shield TV to the HDMI input 2, the Apple TV 4K to the HDMI input 3 and lastly my MacBook Pro to the HDMI input 4. And to select the source that we want to see on our TV we have two ways, one of which is to press this button here at the front which says input and it will cycle through the several inputs that we have. In this particular case we have four but if you only have three it will work the same way but it will not use the last one so it will cycle through the ones that are active. The only disadvantage of pressing the button right over here is that it will cycle from one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if we want to jump from two to four or four to three or something like that then we will have to use the remote control. Now using the remote control is a bit friendlier because we have the choice of selecting between three to one or one directly to four which is in my opinion the best advantage over using the manual button. A really important factor on this kind of device is that we have audio and video in sync and on the tests that I did perform on several devices, several operating systems, all of them worked well, everything in sync, so no issues whatsoever. And one other important factor is that our devices are capable of emitting high resolution and high quality video and audio codecs, thing that the switcher from Ore is capable of handling and then transmitting exactly what it captures from the device. It will be able to output up to 8K 60Hz, 4K 120Hz, 10-bit video, HDR 10 Plus, Dolby Vision, HLG, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby True HD and a lot more that I'll post here on screen and also on the link down below where you can check out all the boring specifications which are very important on the moment that we choose one of these devices to be able to solve one of our issues which is the limitation on the HDMI inputs of our TV but without sacrificing the great audio and video codecs that our devices are capable of outputting. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel please do right over there to be able to be updated with news and tips like this. As always my name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.